What I like about this house is there's a lot of detail, a lot of woodwork. It was a lot of thought process going in. Uh, little neat areas that are secret doors and secret pockets and stuff like that. A lot of built-ins. Uh, the designer, you know, really helped us getting everything to just flow throughout the house and just finish is just unbelievable. The house has four full bedrooms in the main house, uh, almost like mini suites. They're all completely self-contained with full bathroom and full finish. And the roof line and all the bedrooms upstairs are just unique. That's what we like. And the master downstairs with its own sitting room. And then the pool house has its own bedroom off of a living area and kitchen area. So it really makes it versatile and unique. Well, right between the main house and the pool house, we have the pool and the jacuzzi. It has a full cover retractable cover on the pool which really keeps it clean and makes it nice. It has small swim areas on each end of the pool for younger kids or just for relaxing and sitting. Uh, waterfalls with planters. It's just a beautiful backyard area with the beautiful view behind it. Back by the pool we have the Casitas House pool house and it's set up so you can actually entertain or, or let people completely remove themselves from the main house and stay out there so if it's friends or family whichever and it's good for entertaining. It's got a access to the bathroom from the outside, and there's actually room behind it that's part of the lot that hasn't been finished yet. The master bedroom is almost a retreat by itself. It's got its own sitting room, a lot of light control, good-sized uh, sitting room, going into a good-sized bathroom, walk-in closet with all the shelving. And each of the bathrooms for the bedrooms have all been custom designed and finished out for kind of a different color scheme or theme throughout the bathroom. And they've got pull-out drawers that have plugs in them for the curling irons and blow dryers so they keep them, the clutter off the top. It's got a Wayne's coat of tile in every bathroom with the rain shower head, dual shower heads in every one of them. It's just very nice, large, roomy bathrooms. Everything was picked granite woodwork, everything was picked exactly to flow together and, and you know, with the rustic brick and the granite top, it all just really fits good together. Upstairs here in the game room, you'll see a projector TV. It also has a small TV over the bar that will work together. It's got built-in surround sound. It's got automation throughout the house, uh, stereo plus smart lighting. So it's really convenient. You can control it from different areas and music throughout the house. Well, the detail in this home has been really thought out. Uh, this game room is rustic alder. You'll see a lot of knot holes and, and nicks and stuff, um, but there's a lot of finish that you look detailed. The, the speaker screens are color matched. The face plates on the outlets on the bar are custom painted to that. The faux paint on the walls in here all ties in together. You go down the kitchen and, and all through the living area downstairs, again, it's a lot of detail, a lot of custom little pockets and, and finish that's really, really finishes out nice. And if you start looking, you can see more of it. All the furniture in the home has been made specifically or designed specifically for each room. One thing we did with, with Joni Christensen, our designer, was that when we built the home, we wanted everything to be comfortable and homey, and one of our main things was that, you know, when you sit down, you can put your feet up on the furniture if you want and relax. You don't have to feel like you're someplace you shouldn't be. So that was one of the main focuses on the design part of it. When we go outside, and you look at the all the yard space and all the landscape. It's getting quite mature, which is is a bonus for us that we really like it with a lot of tree and, and greenery, a lot of driveway for plenty of room for equipment or vehicles or whatever. Garages are quite large, quite a number of them. Then you move to the backyard. It has a nice fire pit out by the pool area with the beautiful view of Pine Valley Mountain, which is what really sold us on this piece of property was the view that was able to keep and look out the backyard.